Tonight, the CDC says every U.S. state is now at risk for high transmission of the virus. And they're reporting COVID-related deaths are up 11% from just last week. Meanwhile, Midlands residents are reacting tonight to today's high number of coronavirus cases, almost 6,700 in all. News 19's Eleanor Tabone has the story. I just think we got comfortable. It's numbers the state hasn't seen since early January. DHEC today recording 6,697 COVID cases, the third highest number in a single day since the start of the pandemic. According to the agency, the state hasn't seen so many positive tests in one day since January 6th, which saw more than 7,000 new cases. I want to see more people um, doing the right thing, wear your mask, um, social distance, wash your hands. Some say more needs to be done to keep people safe and out of the hospital. I think we need to go back to where we started so we can get those numbers down, especially for our kids. We don't want them to be out of school. Me being a health care worker, it scares me even more. Others are just scared. Just to think about the trauma last year that it caused the deaths in South Carolina. It is a scare. According to DHEC, the state has not been below 1,000 daily cases since July 24th. Richland and Lexington counties combined saw more than 1,000 new cases today. 558 new cases in Lexington County and 480 in Richland. Really exploded over the past couple of weeks, so that doesn't surprise me at all. One vaccinated woman says she's worried about getting COVID. Still see that there are people who are vaccinated being hospitalized as well, so I'm not... <laughs> I don't feel totally protected, but I definitely feel better than if I hadn't been vaccinated. These high case numbers. We were so shut down when we first started seeing numbers this high and we're, we're really reluctant to shut ourselves all the way back down again. Have led to frustration. Think of others other than yourself. In Columbia, Eleanor Tabone, News 19 WLTX.